Hello there, welcome to the Football Block. My name is Brandon, and now that the Euro 2020 semifinals are here, I'm going to go to each game and give you my predictions. If that sounds interesting, let's hop right into it. One step So the semifinals are here. There's only four teams left, and we are so close to crowning the king of Europe. Um, we have two great games that I am personally very excited for. So without further ado, let's start off. So as you can see here on my screen, I have the first game. We have Italy versus Spain. Now... We've seen this game before. It seems like every year I was at this time. Uh, the round of 16, Euro 2016, uh, the final Euro, to, Euro 2012, quarterfinals in Euro 2008. Uh, Italy and Spain always play each other, not just in the Euros, just in the Confederations Cup, the World Cup, historically. Going into this game, I think that uh, Italy it are no question the better team. That doesn't mean that Spain don't have a chance, as they 100% do, uh, as any team does at this uh, part of the tournament. And, you know, it's tournament football, anything could happen. But if you just look at the way Italy has come to the uh, semifinals, where is you look at Spain's journey to the semifinals, Spain have looked weak at times. They've uh, conceded a lot of goals where uh, Italy have just been extremely professional and just going through team after team after team and defeating them even a few hookups here and there but still um italy have for my money are the best team in the tournament so far not only that if you look at the way they play uh spain they try to grab possession of the ball they try to choke their opponents uh, and they usually score a lot of goals but then they tend to concede a lot of goals whereas italy um they're built upon this strong defensive line but they're not afraid to go forward they're not afraid to pressure their opponents and to get in their faces and steal the ball back uh, and also go forward and attack. So when you compare these two styles together, you would just, you have to expect Italy to really exploit uh, the mistakes or the errors that Spain's defense are gonna make. Um, and I don't think that Spain will be able to retain the ball as much as they do, as much as they like to do, um, because Italy will just, every time they lose the ball, will just get right back in their face and try to steal it back. Uh, this game uh, will, reminds me a lot of how Barcelona used to play under the same manager, Lucho Enrique. Now, uh, as a Barcelona fan, I, I love Lucho Enrique. I love his strategy of, you know, they score four, we, we score six. But, you know, it doesn't always work like that, especially um, when you compare these two different teams. It reminds me a lot of the... Um, 2016 2017 Champions League where Barcelona uh had that famous remontada victory against uh, PSG the uh, six to five score line but then in the quarterfinals they went up against Juventus a uh, very different team a very defensively strong team they lost the first leg three nothing and then Juventus just closed up shop in the second leg and went through now I don't think that Italy will walk all over Spain like Juventus walked all over Barcelona in the first leg of that quarterfinal, but I do think that Italy will come out on top here pretty convincingly. So I think it's going to be Italy 2, Spain nothing. Um, Spain will, in my opinion, um, I don't want to say exit the tournaments with their heads held high because they're a team who has won the Euros on three occasions and anything short of a victory will be somewhat of a disappointment. But considering all the problems they had going into this tournament, Injuries, COVID outbreak, everything. The fact that they made it to the semifinals is already a mini achievement within itself. So not a bad overall tournament from Spain if they hypothetically lose, as I predict that they will. Now on to the next semifinal, we have England versus Denmark. Now I think this one is a very, very interesting matchup in the sense that um, England have kind of just soldiered their way on to the semifinals. They have yet to concede a single goal. Uh, they play the exact same way in every match. Uh, it's not the most pretty style to watch. It's not the most enjoyable football to watch. But if you're an England fan, you don't care because they are in the semifinals 
for the first time since Euro 1996. So Denmark are a team who many, including myself, thought were a dark horse team. Uh, and then that looked to not become a reality when there was the whole situation with Christian Eriksen and um, him having his uh, cardiac arrest and all that stuff. And then it, the effect, the mental effect it had on the squad. But credit to the Danish team and their coaching staff and their manager. They really, really uh, rebuilt themselves, clicked in the form. After their last group stage match, they convincingly beat everyone up until this point. Now, I think England will be a much harder test because if you look at Denmark's last opponents, they played the Czech Republic and Wales. Two good teams, but England is by far better than the opposition that Denmark has faced prior. So, um, but if I'm being perfectly honest, Denmark just have that nature about them. They have that uh, ambitious and fearless nature. They remind me a lot of Ajax in the 2019 uh, Champions League season. Uh, you know, maybe a little naive at times, but they're not afraid to just go for it. Um, a complete contrast to England, which are very, very cool, very calculated. Um, so I think out of the four out of the two matches here, I, I think Denmark actually have a much higher chance of upsetting the favorite more so than Spain has of upsetting Italy. But I still think that England will overcome Denmark. I, but I think it'll be close. I think it'll be 2-1. I think Denmark will score the first goal on England I, this whole tournament. I think England will concede their first goal of Euro 2020 against Denmark. But they're still going to go through. But I think it'll be a very memorable match. I think it'll be a very exciting match. Which will eventually set up Italy versus England in a very, very much anticipated final. So anyway, guys, that has been my predictions for the Euro 2020 semifinals. Uh, make sure to let me know what your predictions are in the comments below. If you like these kinds of videos, make sure to let me know in the comments as well. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. My name is Brandon. This has been the Summer Football Vest presented to you by the Football Black. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys have a nice rest of your night. One step beyond.